Chef Michael Ferraro's family came to America from southern Italy in the 1950s and opened a restaurant a few years later. Michael was drawn to the family business and went on to become one of New York's best chefs and a restaurateur in his own right. Now he has two popular Manhattan restaurants, the always fun and fresh, I'm told, Delicatessen and Mac Bar, dedicated to gourmet mac and cheese. Can't think of anything better than that. Both are in Soho neighborhood downtown. And Michael Ferraro is here with his own perfect holiday dish, roast chicken with black truffles. Good morning. Good Welcome, morning. Michael. Thank you, know, you so much. I like the idea that if you don't want to cook a whole turkey, maybe you don't have no. that many people, which we have on holidays and occasion, you could cook the chicken. What makes this your ultimate dish? Uh, absolutely. Well, the black truffles in this dish really yeah. just make it that much better. Mm -hmm. um, what we do is we make a puree of butter, black truffles, some garlic, some shallots, some fresh thyme, and we actually pump that butter under the skin. Mm. So as you taste it, it just really just juicy and you get that truffle flavor all throughout. So it's just an amped up roasted chicken. I love roasted chicken. How so. do you keep it moist on the inside? Is it the butter? How do you keep it from not drying out and yet getting it done inside? Well, you know, I'd say the number one thing when roasting poultry is to not overcook it. I know everybody wants to make sure it's done. Uh, take the chicken or the turkey or whatever it is out beforehand. Even if it's under temperature, I kind of dome tinfoil over it and let it carry over cook. So when you're go ahead and portion it up, you can really, you can press that meat and you can see the juices coming out of it. Now, like, I like anybody who's serious about macaroni and cheese. Okay? <laughs> I'm pretty serious about it. <laughs> How did you get so hardcore about mac and cheese? Uh, well, you know, I have, we had delicatessen first. Right. And, you know, it's comfort food restaurant. Right. And we came up with a concept of amped up mac and cheese. And uh, me and my partners were like, so, you know, let, let's come over, uh, come up with some flavors and what can we come up with? And it's so easy. It's international right. comfort food and we take that onto mac and cheese. So and what's it, the secret to great mac and cheese? Uh, it, I would say it's the sauce and the amount of cheese. Uh -huh. uh, you want your sauce to be uh, smooth and velvety and then the cheeses. And, you know, we have 12 different kinds. Mm -hmm. You have mac quack? We have a mac quack. It's duck confit. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's kind of the upscale adult version, I think. And then we have, you know, a lot of fun ones. We do a margarita, which is like a margarita pizza. We do a cheeseburger mac. Right. We have a lot of fun with it. And coming up with it is great. Your father came from Italy or your parents came from Italy. You were about 14 years old. He was 14 he years was old. He was 14. Yeah. Okay. A totally different time. Uh, he's Truly came over on a boat. 1950s. Yes. Is that who inspired your cooking? Ability? Yeah, you know, uh, my both mother and father, we were such a cooking family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when, you, when you're a kid and you have to go do the garden and make the sausage and may help make the wine, you're then you're like, oh, you know, like, I want to I go and do this. But I'm so thankful for it now. It's like, it's really guided me. How and, old were you when you started working in the restaurant, in their restaurant? Uh, not their restaurant. It was a friend's restaurant. Uh -huh. um, middle school. Really? Yeah, I was uh, just well, helping out prep, dish wash, and then right. even, you know, I would go from football practice in high school to a friend's restaurant, and we would prep and help cook and wash dishes. But then I went into regular college, right. and then um, I started a bar with my brothers, and uh, I was 18 years old. Right. And I was like, you know, the college is, I don't, I don't know if this is for me. And my dad was like, do you remember what it was like when you were growing up and I was in the restaurant? And uh, he's like, if you're going to do it, just do it the right way. All right, and Michael, go all the way. we awesome. have a tradition here. Awesomely you have to good. sign our oh, dish, and we're going to oh, ask you to do that. With honor, looking at this wall here. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a hall of fame. Chef Michael Ferraro, thanks so much. Thank you, guys.